cooking show, and we just made a food. Want to show the camera? Custard. Vanilla custard sour cream filling. I tasted some filling mm, in my tummy. All right. So now we're going to make the next step of our our pie. We're going to mash this. Which is our our crust, and this isn't a really important part. And Sarah's gonna work on that. Okay, I'm gonna put it down here for you. See it right here. So we're gonna do it real slow, and what we're gonna do is mash it. And the important part here is that you don't touch it with your hand. It's the big that's what makes you don't touch the dough with your hand. So that's what makes a good a good pie. Separates good pies from the from the just the okay ones. What about hair? Hair is bad too. We don't like that. And what we're going to do is we have our, our blender. Okay, you want to stop for a second? Okay. And then work. As soon as we'll have a clump of sorting, you just take the knife. And we're put it back in the right bowl. Back in. Good job. Looking good. We're just going to keep clumping that up until we don't have any chunks. Yeah. Chunks are bad. We don't like that. You want it nice and clean. And if you ever see any clumps that are too hard, you can always hold the side of the bowl when you do it so it doesn't spill. Right, so finally we got that cream cooking for hours. Yeah. Felt like it, but it then it comes on sudden like that and it's good. good. But if you cook it too long, you know what's going to happen. It was, it was We've good. never tried that ourselves because we don't want to find out. Then it'll be okay. Yeah. But it turned out great. And number two, we're still working on everything. So She's doing our dishes. We're really happy. Thank you. Well, and thank everyone else that. is somewhere. Doing we're about to go to, after we finish this, we're going out to lunch. It's going to be a nice break. It will be good. And then we'll be back eating our pie. That will be good. Yeah. Yeah. you like to hear. So, but we get all our people in our front row, customers, our front row customers have left for their break. Um, but the pie's not ready yet, so we'll just keep going. We're just going to have everyone at home. They get a little taste of the pie. Hopefully we everyone at home has, is real excited in their, in their kitchen to start to make their pie. Yeah. We, we don't want to go too fast for you. Well, do it, All right. right? Good job. So now we're going to do our next step. Looks yes. good. Just going to scoop this off. Continue in Iraq. Digit but finally, there's good news. The Parker's solution to hair loss? Welcome back. Welcome back, yes. Um, oh, goodbye number three. We'll see number you in a one. minute. I'm number one. Oh, number one. So confused. Okay, so now what we're going to do, this is a really important part. We have our shortening, our salt, and our flour. I already mixed it together. Now we have our ice cubes. Now we have a glass of ice water. It's really important that you get a glass of cold water and put ice in it because you need it to be as cold as possible. We don't yeah, want so it to be... you want to put it in the freezer or something. Right. We don't want it to be Make sure it's lukewarm. Really cold. Exactly. So what we're gonna do is take a tablespoon of water. Is this like cooking in a There's movie? You get a movie too? Or something like that. This is um, cooking in the, 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 the food channel. Oh my god. Okay, then before we put in the next one, let's put that down. We are going to. And we're gonna, just gonna keep stirring. Sure. And just get that water. Yeah. In. in. Let me do it for a second. Get it in there. We want to gather up our sides, which is our dry ingredients. We always want to mix those, try to mix those in. Yeah. It's very and important. Everyone if you it notice, cold. Right. And if you notice, make for our viewers nice. at home, none of you haven't been touching the dough with our hands. No. Because that's, we always use our tools. Because that would, it, once you get the oil it's from your hands, it. it would ruin it. We won't and be as flaky. it wouldn't be so delicious exactly. as we want it to be. So we're going to do that. Now this is a banana cream pie. You have to like bananas. Yeah, this banana is an important pie. part. You're right. And if we you like less in it, you can do banana nuts. And I'm going to put in the next one. And Sarah's going to stir that. Get that going. When it, we usually put in the about one more um, cup of water. Okay. And then we're going to put in about one more um, one more tablespoon before it gets clumpy. Yeah. And that's our, what we're looking for. Three is the lucky number. The neat thing about this part is that it's going to depend on the weather. So if you're in a really humid day, you're going to put in less water because there will be water in the air. And if it's a dry day, you put in more water because you'll need that. For the and dough. today is a just clean coat. Yeah, so we might just need about the regular today. Good. All right. So we're going to do last one do you more. Do feel as to how much? Yeah, we're going to feel it. Number one, per, number two, first, I guess. Put that in. 
and then what it'll start pumping all together. That's what we're looking for. Um, we don't we want we don't want it to when it meets we don't want it to stay together. We want it to go through each other, flowing. Right. We want it to don't want it clumpy. We want it smooth. We want it to be we want it to be able to roll into a ball, the whole zoo, and and it will fall apart. So it looks like there we're going to need another tablespoon because look how dry that is. Oh, I want to show our viewers. Still a little dry. You want to get a zoom in on that. It's a very, it's like a desert with no water, but we always have so, some cold water. Yeah, so let's get some more water in there. And you don't want to put the ice cubes in there. You just want to get the... My name is Frida Kahlo, and I am the greatest artist I think the world. I've been doing it every heard of it, and that's... Welcome back. So now we put in our fourth tablespoon. Mm -hmm. And you never want to put the ice in, as we said before, right. because it just, the reminder. cake will be cold and crunchy. We don't want it really to be crunchy when it's exactly. nice and texture. I'm just going to mix it up like that. Okay, now what I need you to do, Sarah, is the first test. So we're going to see okay. if we have enough water or we need more. No, what you do is you take this top piece of wax paper. Top piece of wax paper, yes we do. Okay. And what we're going to do is... We're Actually, gonna you know what, let me put another one. Put that one next time. We're going to test it. We have to do all... Wax paper is the best thing. It is, for this. Cool. Because, yeah. as you, as you said before, you never want to touch it with your... What kind of noise is that that you are making? Excuse me, I'm trying That was Salvador. That was Salvador. I was amazed. Welcome back to Fair Show. Todd is not here, my assistant, right now. My cook is my assistant. So I'm going to tell you that we did do a little steps without you, just to make it easier. This is what the pie looks like at the end. The meringue at the top, we just scrape it, point it. So beautiful. And I would say a special thanks to Grandma. Oh, Mom. you're welcome, Sarah. No, so much fun. Best Pete. And my assistant, helper Wendy. <laughs> took about 15 minutes. The pie crust took 15 minutes. And then the pudding you cook in about a half hour. And then uh -huh. you just make the meringue and put it back in the oven for 10 more minutes. That's it. And um, that is how you make the best cake ever. Just whip it together. That's it. And <laughs> um, now, everyone, I play a special... Hold on. Thanks to this fabulous cake, my <laughs> chef cook, who uh, gave us the recipe, my assistant, my others, and that's all. See you next time on Sarah's Cooking Show. <laughs>